Morning, guys. Hi. How are you? It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. I have to apologize. I have not been on in some time because uh, for the first part, um, the house was sick. There was a big, bad, nasty bug coming through, and it just hit everybody so bad. Um, they had the flu the whole bit. Thank God I didn't get the throwing up part, but I sure felt like I wanted to. Anyways, then we went from that to um, severely head cold, chest cold. Oh, and you could probably hear the kids screaming next door. Not my kids. My kids. Shane's upstairs not feeling good, actually. Um, so then we got that over with. I still have a bit of a cough. But uh, then we went through that. And then I had um, a stretch where my hips and my legs decided to stop working. They just, I couldn't, I basically could fight to get downstairs and get to the washroom and that was pretty much it and then of course when that hits the uh depression and all that crap just kicked in full force and i was fighting with myself because i had orders that i had to do and things that i needed to do and wanted to do for valentine's day only got a couple things done, but anyways, I kicked myself in the butt, got myself in gear, and got some things done. So you guys have seen, I think I did the the Valentine's Hearts. Those have since sold, so there's no more of those right now. Um, I worked on some bombs yesterday, well, a couple days ago I was making these. These are just basic fizzers um, to use as an insert, and... The insert, it's inside this big boy. And this is something that I was dreaming about. Literally, like, um, literally dreaming about it at night. I don't know if you can see the, the glitter in it. Anyways, I made, you see the glitter? It's got a lot of luster and whatever, and it's going to be um, dreaming about it. It was a nighttime thing. Um, I have some things coming up that I'm doing. Um, you've probably seen similar, but, um, it's like, um, Wish on a Star Bottle, basically, so this is the beginnings of that, or Wish on a Star Bomb, this is the beginnings of that, so, um, it's got luster, it's, uh, like I said, if I get the video up, I did it on my GoPro, so unfortunately, you can kind of see the big scope of the mess, and yes, you notice my, my wondrous rack, Yes, it's not full. I had two trays done. That was it. Um, got them ready, sold. Like I said, I haven't been doing much other than these. Um, so, yes, I made these yesterday on my GoPro. And they were made some... They're a lot darker than they look. I actually did... Um, a little sample guy here so that I can test him and set him off. I still may use this... Oops, sorry. I still may use this form for something. This is the skull I got that I was kind of disappointed because it was a lot smaller than I expected. Um, this is the actual mold. Yeah, it was supposed to be. It said five inches. I'm thinking, hello, and they meant the mold. If it had been five inches, that would have been perfect. But anyways, if you can see, I hope you can see the glitter and stuff in him. Can you? My... Anyways, you see all the glitter and luster. So he's loaded with glitter, luster. Um, there's some purple in him. Whoops, there's some green in him, the blue. Um, I debated whether using, like I had a couple molds yesterday. You'll see this if I ever get the video uploaded. I got this mold from eBay and I, all said and done, this is a $24 mold, okay? And it's the shape that I've been looking for forever because if you guys know Amina Amina got me these amazing ones um like these are this is ginormous and I have made a couple monster um magic bombs out of this big huge one and then I have um another really huge one which don't worry the bombs will be coming in this these are specials but this is the other jig big 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 if you've seen the TikTok bombs or whatever it's called, this is about maybe a little bit smaller, but around the same size. No, I guess it's the same size as a TikTok bomb. So anyways, I was debating, you know, to do the insert 
this in here and it was like a tight squeeze it would fit but i was worried that there wasn't going to be enough mix around and you'd see the white and it just it wasn't going to fly so instead of using these my wonderful wonderful friend that sent me all that stuff sent me these and oh my god these are perfect these i think are my new favorite molds next to my zen uh these and my plunger molds which yes i got more of those too i also got the other plunger molds too i think you've seen them so anyways this is the bomb that i went for um oh yeah they weigh quite a bit they're over nine ounces if not ten ten ounces about that so it's a good size bomb so i've got two of those i don't know what i do with the other one but i do have two of the oh it's over there i have two of those so what I did was, yep, I made these big bad boys right here for part of my collection. I'm going to start a collection. It's like basically my dream line, I guess, because it's stuff I think about when I go to sleep. So I'm going to paint this little puppy today. I'm going to come back on later and um, maybe make something. Like I said, the kids are sleeping. I wanted to show you. You guys know that I had these plunger molds, right? The normal, uh, the square and the round with the plungers. So I ordered some more, different place. So I got, um, new square plunger. But if you notice something, see the size difference? I really like the big ones because I like to give you guys some big Mondo bombs. So I, I will still be using both, but I got square, round, a bit smaller, obviously. Um... Pretty happy about this though because I got as well as the square and the new round I got a heart shape a little smaller than I would have liked but like I said if I make it the full thickness that's still a good size bomb and then I got a flower um, so they'll be you know made into some things um, what else do I have Oh, uh, yeah, I think I showed you the plunger molds. Oh, this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, I think it was Corinne. Someone asked me, yeah, it was Corinne. She asked me to do, you know, the hex bomb is all this big, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, it's cool. You get the cool colors and whatnot. Well, she wanted me to make one with the same idea, but have them moisturizing and with bubbles. So I searched and searched online and I found a place and I ordered myself some cups. And unfortunately, they're supposed to be four ounce cups. When they came, they're four ounces, but they're not fluid, uh, fluid ounces. So, um, these would be great, I guess, for samples of body whips, jelly soaps, perhaps. Um, someone gave me the idea to do, um, shower, shower tabs in them or toilet tabs. Great idea. Uh, but I do have too many. So if anybody's interested in buying any, um, I think I was asking 12 or 15 cents a piece, something like that. I don't know, it's 50 for $15. Does that make sense? I think that's, I don't know, I figured it out, I think it was 15 cents, whatever it was. But I do have 100, um, 100 of these if anybody is interested. Just message me on Facebook and I'll, selling them in packages of 50. Like I said, they come like this. Just, well, minus one, this one's mine. Um, I wouldn't sell you one that was opened. So yeah, they come in packs like this. Four ounces. They're actually just, um, like, they're sauce cups or whatever. It's whatever they call them, sauce cups. But they're just a little smaller than I thought. So anyway, so I'm just going to paint a couple of these. I don't know if you guys want to watch or not. Um, totally up to you. There's just a couple things that I wanted to do to these bombs. So we're going to go back to the colors I had before. We had the white the green and do i want gold on that no we have silver so um <clears throat> oh in the purple i don't know which purple to do maybe i should add gold i don't know i'm just i'm farting around here trying to figure out what i want so uh that's a blue green we'll just mix the blue green together that's okay so anyways this is what i'm doing 99 percent alcohol obviously 99, you gotta use 99, guys. And then that's the white. This is my purple. Okay, and then we're gonna just add 
some, or I might as well go white first so I'm in the right color here. Oh, uh, I guess I should have had green, so that's that one. Anyways, yes, so I'm just going to be painting my, uh, there's some mica for that one. Uh, right, I gotta add blue in this one. Just trying something different because I wanted to do something different here. I mean, they're going to be pretty when they're done. I just want them a bit different. So, and I know everybody paints bombs. This is going to be more of a splatter than a paint, if you must know. Okay, on that note, my purple mica is... I sort of semi-organized down here, so I was quite happy about that. I don't know what I did with my green. Oh yeah, my purple mic is right here. Gotta love Zen purple. It's gorgeous. Maybe there's enough in there. No, there's not. Okay, now that green and blue is the problem because I don't know which one it was. I don't know which one was the green and blue that I had. They're all gorgeous colors, but... I think it was this note, not that one. No. No, it's too late. <coughs> Maybe it's in this back. Maybe I'll put this down for a second. I think it might have been this one. Looks familiar. No, that's gorgeous. That's just, these are from Nurtures, by the way. Some of them are, anyway. Uh, oh, there it is. That's what I used. Not sure what color it is, but, like, I don't know the name of it. And, like I said, it's just a... I'm just doing a splatter type thing. Uh, what did I do with my... Duh, it's right in front of me. I'll be alright. Okay, wipe this off, because I don't want to get mica all over everything. I love their mica. Okay. Now I do have quite a few paintbrushes. Really good ones, actually. But I think this is going to be more of a drip. So, let's see. Uh, you can get out of there. Let's see. I've got my glass. Drippy straws. Well, well, maybe we'll just use these for now. We'll have to see how it goes. Yeah, I think we'll just do these. And I know you can't see me. But I'm basically just dripping on the bomb, okay? And I do mean dripping. It's like a splatter drip. Yeah, you're not going to see me. I'll show you when I do the paintbrushes. So great. Huh. <laughs> that didn't work so great. Alright. I think we need a brush. Um I will have to redo my brush, but that's okay. Okay. So and then we're gonna go for the purple. Yeah.
Yeah, I guess we can just smush it on. I was going to drip it on, but I'm thinking I'll just splat it on. Just sort of, you know. Just because it's one of those. I guess we need more purple. Yes, we do. We need more purple. You guys still watching me? You want to see what I'm doing? <laughs> um, maybe I'll just bring one over here to show you. Here, this is what I'm doing. Here's a bomb. This is a bomb. And I was splatting. Like, basically, I was dripping. Like, can't do it now. So, anyways, I'm just... I'm just giving it the old... You know... Just some color to lighten it up a bit so that it looks a little bit more pretty. Um, when you get it. Even though, in the water, it's going to be something else. So... That's what I'm doing. I just said I'd show you. And like I said, I'm going to do all these colors. The whites, the greens, the purples, the blues, and a bit of... I'm not sure if I'm going to do a shimmery or not yet. But that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch me do this all day or all morning. But I thought I would say, hey, um, touch base with you guys. Because I know I haven't been on in a while. Um... So I will come back later on, okay? And I'll come back later on and do some more stuff with you guys. And just waiting for, like I said, the old boy's here. Shane's not feeling good. He's upstairs. So uh, whatever I do, it'll have to be a little later because right now everybody's still sleeping. And yes, it's very early. But it was nice seeing you guys. And I promise I'll be back. I am feeling a bit better. And uh, maybe I'll be exciting. I don't know. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys in a little bit, okay? See you soon.